Hey guys, I want to share a few tips with you about uh, saving money on transportation um, in, well, anywhere around the world, I suppose. But uh, my wife and I went to Southeast Asia for a couple months. Um, it cost us total about $180. Um, that was to fly in first uh, one way to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, do a bunch of traveling around, and then fly out of um, Hanoi, Vietnam. And uh, we flew back first class, and then we flew coach on the way there, and it was 180 $180 for two people. So a lot of people say, well, how do you do that? Um, and so I'll, I'll throw out a few tips. These are not just my ideas. I've gotten them from other places too, but um, they really are my highest recommendations of, of how to uh, travel travel cheap. So a lot of people are afraid to get credit cards. They say, oh, it hurts my credit. Actually, um, it doesn't hurt your credit if you pay them, and it helps you in the long run. So yeah, you may have you know, you know, may have eight, um, eight credit cards open, um, but if you get this, but it's, it's actually better if you just pay them off and to make sure you don't have any um, late payments or, or anything or any high balances. So don't get a credit card if you can't pay it off um, at the end of each month. You'll you'll waste your time and you know your your money and your your credit if you can't pay it off. So um, a lot of credit cards have sign on bonuses. That's that is the way you get it. Um, they'll say like spend one thousand up to three thousand, sometimes five thousand dollars within the first three months of opening a credit card, and they'll throw out like fifty thousand, hundred thousand uh, reward points or sky miles. So um, if you can't spend that m amount of money, you don't have um, not, you don't have enough to actually sp you know spend. There's a lot of things you can do. First of all, you can uh, you can pay your car insurance ahead of time. Uh, you can pay for the whole year. Sometimes you can pay two years of, of your car insurance. And you know you're going to use the insurance, you know you're going to have your car, so why not uh, just um, pay as much as you can. Um, and then if you ever lost that car or something, you can always get a refund from your uh, from your insurance company in the form of a check. The other thing is pay your utilities ahead of time. Any utilities you have, you can pay it ahead of time. Um, I found out we use T-Mobile, and I found out that you can pay, I was on the phone with customer service recently, you can pay... Um, Kind of like an unlimited amount towards your 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 phone bill. So if you know you're not going, your your phone bill is not going anywhere, and you're going to keep that phone, uh, you can put three thousand down on it. And I know that's a lot of money, but again, those reward points are they they, they skyrocket. They give you the ability to travel anywhere so cheap. Um, and the other thing is, if you put three thousand down, and then all of a sudden you you say, oh shoot, I I need some of that money back. I've had something come up. You can actually uh, call your your phone company. You can mention that. You say, you know, I thought this would be okay, and I, I've had some some issues recently, and I need to get I need to pull some of that money out, and they'll they can write you a check. I confirmed that they don't, at least with T-Mobile, they don't um, um, refund your that credit card. They actually give you a check back. In some cases, um, you may have to shut your phone down to get that to get that money back, but you'll have to check with your carrier just to, just to find out. Um, the other thing you can do is buy gift cards. Um, that's pretty sweet. If you know you're going to go to a grocery store, um, it's the same grocery store you live by and you're going to go there, you know, f for the next year or more, just buy a gift card. Um, sometimes you have to pay a small fee, but the fee can actually be worth all the points you get. So you may end up spending like, like 12 bucks for, uh, 800, $900 worth of, of groceries, gift cards for groceries. Um, so then the other, th other tip is just put every single thing you buy, put it on a credit card. Don't put it, don't use cash for anything unless you absolutely have to. It all adds up very, very quickly. Also look at what the, re the reward points, uh, excuse me, the credit cards, what they offer. You know, you get, sometimes you get double, sometimes triple points on gas, on groceries. So make sure you use that one card specific uh, to, uh, to that. The other thing I found is helpful is if, so if you and your spouse live in, in, um, you know, live you know, live together. You and your boyfriend or girlfriend live together. You can you can apply for credit cards for each other, you know, with each other. You know, and you're going to get the same benefits. Um, then you can transfer uh, points to each other and, and kind of compile them all in the same same area. My wife and I did that. That was helpful. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should say about that. Um, we have uh, we just purchased another ticket to Greece, um, a one way ticket. My wife and I for next year. And it costs thirty dollars for two people. Um, that's again just from saving up a lot of points, and it it, it goes up a long way. The, oh, the other thing I was going to say is buy things for other people. I know, I don't think credit card companies uh, approve of that, but I'm not talking thousands and thousands of dollars. But I'm talking call your parents and say, hey, do you, you need do you have any big purchases coming up? Can I can I pay for them? And then you can just pay me in in a check or cash. Um, 
sometimes you'll find people who don't who aren't in in with with the the system of using credit cards for reward points, so they don't care. They just use, you know, their their credit card, and and they just don't really care about it. So you can take advantage of it that way, and that's um, uh, and that's really helpful. Um, I don't think that's I think that's everything I wanted to say. Um, if you do that, just save up for a long time, and um, and do just do everything with the credit card. Sometimes pay ahead of time, like I said, for some of these offers. That's where you really get the the big bonuses. That's that's the main thing. Um, just l sign up for as many of those cards as you can. Sometimes you can just cash them out, or you can buy gift cards. If if you can't turn that m that those points into cash, you can sell the gift cards online for like five dollars cheaper than what they're worth, which is still cheap. G getting more than get cashing out with some credit cards, um, or just transfer them to you know Sky Miles for whichever company you like to use, and just save and save and save. But those offers are going to take you such a long way. So we'll have gone to. Um, Southeast Asia, my wife and I, and what, like I said on the way back, it was first class, and then we will have gone to Greece for you know a total of, of just about two hundred dollars total um, for that airfare, and it's just, it's just it's just amazing. So we have like three or four different credit card companies that we have points with right now. Some we've decided to cash out, um, some we've decided to get gift cards and, and sell those gift cards. We've had no problems with that, and others we've. Um, We've tried to uh, uh, just turn into into Sky Miles. So the, be the the credit cards that we've had the best success with is American Express. They are just it's insanely good. And then recently Chase Sapphire and the Sapphire Preferred has an incredible deal. Um, Chase Sapphire Preferred is um, hundred thousand Sky Mile or just hundred thousand reward points if you spend four thousand dollars in the first three months. And that's really again easy to do um, based on what I just mentioned earlier. So don't be afraid of it. Just again, don't use, don't open credit cards. Don't use credit cards if you can't pay them off and you're getting the bill. You're getting twenty twenty five dollar fees each month or something. It's not worth it. So just make sure you're smart in that way. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. If you have any other questions about saving money, making transportation easy, uh, flights easy uh, to, to different countries or anything like that, just let me know below. I've got my email address listed as well. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.